the spectator stance. Where's my match? 27. Bam. Lucid versus Cone Boy. Another canon Hofstra match. This is winners for Slash is a banger. Name one. All right, you're a music fan, big guy. I'll name every song. All right. All right. Let's see how it is. Big music fan over here. Hmm. Hmm. Unreal. <laughs> the question was posed. Are you playing Wario? Ah, uh, no. Man wiping forehead with towel. Crazy. Oh, you like that joke? I'm glad you did, because it was not a high effort joke. Out of time is better than bloody tears? I, I'm not even in the Castlevania community. I haven't seen a pixel of an actual Castlevania game, and I still want to throttle you. Maybe I'll listen to Out of Time. I do have it so my desktop audio doesn't monitor, so I actually could listen to it right now, because I have most Castlevania game soundtracks downloaded. You might be a big fool, but hear you out. I'm hearing you out, but I'm also waiting for you to play your set. Roasted? What if Donkey Kong? I'm not liking this. I, I disagree with the premises of your argument. Let's see where this develops. Battle is about to spark. And I need to flip the sides. Don't even trip, Chocolate Chip. We're here. I don't agree with Donkey Kong. On like a philosophical level, not the character pick. Although I also don't know about the character pick, because um, Palu, regarded as a pretty good character. Go! So we have a pretty small stage, though, which would work to Donkey Kong's benefit, I imagine, since we'll just have a lot of room. Schmoove. Now, uh, Maxi's movement, while very good, could easily be snuffed out by the, just the sheer size of Donkey Kong's bubbles. Now, build the ledge a couple more times, please, I beg you. F tilt, who's that hitting? Come on. Ah, oh, back air, back air, back air! No slap for you, on your hand. Into the upbeat. Crazy good move, by the way. That's why Smash is whack. You can have a theoretically bad character with crazy good moves. You can teleport. Get out of danger. Nice. Nice B reverse goofball. That's a fireball. Crazy. Up air. Preemptive counter. Get some slap for his trouble. And the back air before the teleport comes out. This Palu's teleport is not frame one invincible, unlike Chiefs. Fun fact. He's out of there. I mean, he's fine, but he's out of there. Eaten by the DK Whirlwind. Up throw, up air, hang on. Back air! You're crazy, dog. Chill. Yeah, so I think we're just seeing the Palu doesn't have a ton of room to move with, and because Smash is still in such an open game movement wise, DK can stay in while still having ample room to evade. Uh, B, did that. Okay, I was gonna say that did not go to walk by my. Slap? Grounded, though. Teleport to the stage, not the ledge. <gasps> Buried him. Gets out. Crazy good mash. Very good stuff. Goes for the cheeky roll. Not being near ledge. He's out of there. Down two stocks. Bebop, still hanging on to his first. Just the turnaround. Ooh, hold on. Screw went dark. I apologize. Fireball. Still not killing DK. Very heavy boy. He's finally out of there. This little fun. So I think Mac Chi can do this. I would like to see Mac Chi do this. I think he's a cool player. I think he's a cool guy. But uh, this is hard. DK just racks up a lot of damage because there are there are bad characters and then there are underwhelming characters that still have crazy damage output. And uh, no matter how good you are, if you get slapped by a DK punch, that's gonna hurt. Ooh. But uh, we've seen a lot of damage get tacked on. Just needs to close this out. Maybe a solid smash read. I'll throw up there. Goes to the sideways curve throw. Nifty. And the clap. Game one going to Cone Boy. Donkey Kong wins! We, uh, I think we saw the start of a very solid comeback, but uh, just had to close things out a little bit faster in order to capitalize on it. And again, DK's damage output is so strong. So let's 
see where we're at. All right, what you banning? Bebop, Cone Boy, Effie and Lilac again. Same two bands. That's crazy, dog. Grooving this music. Good choice, Jop. Much appreciated. Persona's got some bumping music, honestly. I haven't played a lick of the games, but I like the soundtracks. Like, Beneath the Mask, crazy good song. Actually broken. Sorry, every time I flick back to chat, I see Jay Spag saying Out of Time is about in Bloody Tears, and just, ugh. Ugh, oh, it's giving me a stomach ache thinking about that. That's crazy. So let's see. Be some, be seeing some character pick ponderings. Ready? And we're off. It's crazy, dog. Battle is about to start, and we are in there. Tony Boys DK versus Mac Cheese Pally running it back straight on a new stage. Three, two. One, Not a new go. stage. I changed my mind. This is like the the weatherman debate. The weatherman merely report that shield cooked. Come on. The weatherman merely report who they cause. And I say a weatherman cause. Ooh, nice drag down up air off the platform with the nair loops back air. Here's the thing. That was a really cool combo. And that was good damage. But DK can do that back in two hits. Nice roll through the F smash. Ah, back air. F tilt. Slap. Still on stage though. That was right. I would not make that, however. Yeah, that's the problem with the upbeat. If it doesn't go all the way through, you don't get the last strong hit that you have to tech, and um, you don't react really well if you put in a lot of weird situations like that. But this is extraordinarily doable, still well within reach. Especially considering Palu has Nair. Jab. Nice. I think he's supposed to play the ledge. Pack airs through the DK punch. Very nice. He's fine? Yeah, cool. Go. Slapped by it. Good coverage. So yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with explosive flame. You can also kill with back air. Very nice. Not a ton of damage in response to me. Very well taken some fun with it. But uh, explosive flames are a wacky move. You gotta tech those. I know Wi-Fi probably doesn't help, but good lord. Very strong kill option. He's going for it with a big boy combo right right back out. Show pokes in there. Get something off of it too. Good lord. This is scary. Can't spot dodge the auto reticle dog. Come on, you know this! Up tilt. A lot of landing aerials. Sour Bear into a Kalu Jab. Not the most conventional combo. Good roll read, too. Good lord. Nice up tilt. So if Machi can stay below DK, he'll actually be in pretty good shape. Armors through that, because that's how that move works. Another explosive flame. I think that the sourness of the move is what's stopping him from killing here, rather than uh, direct knockback. Up tilt taking it, though. Very nice. Oh, going out to slap the DK, but the DK slaps back. Solid spike. This is only a BO3 as they were discussing. So that is a very, very dead Mac Chi. But still has room in losers bracket to make some stuff happen. Don't even worry.